Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Erica Vane, and I am back with an update for the power verse. Courtney Kemp did a live recently where she was able to give us updates on what's happening with each of the power spinoffs, as well as gave a ton of amazing writer tips. Let's break down the most important updates for the power universe. Okay, first things first, she brought up that they are currently in production and we know that. We know that Power Book 2 Ghost is filming, we know that Power Book 4 Force is filming, and we also know that Power Book 3 Raising Canaan is filming, but she gave us a specific update on where we are in the timeline. So, as of a few days ago when she did this live, episode 10 of Raising Canaan was being filmed, so they are finishing up. They are shooting the last episode of the season because I believe it's going to be a 10 episode season. If you haven't already, check out my video about Raising Canaan, specifically when they released the trailer. I did a trailer breakdown, a little bit of predictions, as well as talked about the premiere date. And I will have that linked in the cards above in the description box down below. Power Book 2 Ghost is currently filming Season 2, Episode 5. And Power Book 4 Force is currently filming Season 1, Episode 5. Now, I am making a prediction that we're going to see Power Book 2 Ghost before we see Power Book 4 Force, but I really do believe that we are going to run through all of these spinoffs pretty much back to back to back. We are about to make a major power run, and I'm so very excited about it. On this actual live, Courtney did mention that she contractually cannot tell us when Power Book Force or when Power Book Ghost is coming, but of course we have the announcement for Power Book three raising canaan and i do believe that we're going to see power book two ghosts in september similar to how it premiered last year and it makes sense because it's going to coincide with like the collegiate school year and when you know that it's set on this ivy league campus because Tariq goes to stansfield so that would make sense so i'm anticipating that we will be seeing power book two in september which will come right after the end of power book three raising canaan she also mentioned when we will be picking up the story for raising canaan and where we will find canaan take a listen we have a lot of story to tell because we're starting with him at age 15 so there's plenty of places to go with that show before you would meet canaan where you met him in power that seems like the perfect age because at 15 he's not too young he's at the moment where he's just getting into the drug game and starting to build up his own crew find his footing and all of that jazz so it makes sense that they would start him off at age 15. i thought it was also interesting that later on in the live she actually was asked the question about if she was interested in or would do a prequel series for ghost and tommy and this is what she had to say but if you're talking about a show that's about like young ghost and tommy i've addressed that already i'm not interested in that show um again and i'll tell you guys why as a writer this is just writers now we you know that ghost and tommy survived that so it's hard to put stakes into their stories it's just more difficult. I totally get what she's saying here, but I kind of disagree because the same way that we know that Kanan died, right? Like we know that Kanan goes to jail after having a few years run, building this really dope crew with Tommy and Ghost. Then they send him to jail. Then he comes back and he gets revenge and all that jazz. Like we know what happens with Kanan and yet we're still getting a prequel story for him. I think that it could be interesting to see a prequel of how Tommy became Tommy and how Ghost became Ghost the same way that we're about to see how Kanan just became Kanan but I get it she is also really fielding a lot of questions about Ghost because many of the fans myself included have just been struggling with the idea that Ghost is really gone and not you know having his character as a temple in any of these series moving forward so I guess I'm kind of on the fence. I think that a prequel with them could be cool, but I do think that the Raising Canaan prequel is going to be lit and I can see how she can integrate uh, Tommy and Ghost's prequel as storylines into the Raising Canaan storyline, just because the parts of Tommy and Ghost that we get familiar with and we get introduced to specifically within their drug life comes by way of them meeting Kanan, getting brought into Kanan's crew, being trained by Kanan and brought up 
by Canaan. So we could be getting the thing that we're asking for with the Raising Canaan series and we not we don't necessarily need separate shows for all that. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I want them to figure out how they can bring Ghost back because I'm not done seeing Omari Hardwick, but that's just me. Or maybe that's just us. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree. And speaking of seeing more of ghosts, a thing that has been running rampant since the end of power is the conspiracy theory that Ghost is not dead. And actually the actor who plays Ghost, Omari Hardwick, has done an interview recently where he talks about um, his character on power and what he would love to see moving forward if he did return to the show. He really kind of confirms that, oh, Ghost is actually dead. Courtney has been pushing this story that, oh, Ghost is actually dead, even though I still want to believe, like 25% of me wants to believe that he's not, which is why they kind of leave the door open the way they do. But a fan asks on the live why haven't we seen an rip post for ghost and courtney had this to say in response why have we not seen an rip post for ghost people have been making a lot a lot a lot of a big deal about that but that's like a star's decision i don't know why they did that they make those like posts i personally think that it's because they want to leave the door open for if they ever do want to go down the lines of ghost did not die he did survive and they want to actually go into a power season seven they have a doorway to do so they have a very narrow window a little opening where there is you know plausible there's a plausible way to make that story work and i think that's why they haven't posted the the r.i.p post but the creator the writer as well as the actor are all saying unequivocally that ghost is actually dead so we might need to believe him y'all and speaking about power season seven she was also asked towards the very end of the live if she would do a power season seven and this is what she had to say the version of going back to the power story that i would do is almost impossible just contractually because i would need to get so many people paid but I would love to do it. The, I would love to do that. I would love to do like a movie version where people were, you know, back. I could totally see a power season seven happening. Again, I have not gotten enough of Omari Hardwick as Ghost. I think he's absolutely exceptional in this role. So I hope that maybe that is something that can come back into discussion or on the minds of executives and they can actually make that happen because they do have an opening, they do have a doorway to bring Ghost back and they could do that whether he actually survived or as a ghost or um, a movie kind of like how she said I think that there is still a little bit more story to tell there and there's definitely things that we can definitely explore with Ghost as a character and I would love to see it if you haven't already check out my video that I did comparing Courtney Kemp and Omari Hardwick's answers around the question about Ghost as a character and why he had to die and specifically was there more story left to tell because the actor Omari Hardwick and the creator and writer Courtney Kemp kind of have two very different perspectives and I wanted to take a second and to dive into both of them and really talk about it because I think that this is a debate that's actually happening online as well many 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 of the power fans do not understand why Ghost died in season six and Courtney does a really great job of explaining her reasoning behind it but now that Omari has done this interview he has kind of put gasoline on the fire around we should still have Ghost here he should not be dead because he gave us a little bit more uh, validation in the idea that there was still so much more Ghost story to tell that we really still want to see the fans are desperate to see it so if you haven't already checked that video out I'll have it linked in the cards above in the description box down below and aside from those major updates we also got updates about Elisa Marie Courtney said Tommy made a comment to, Pro to Proctor's daughter saying if she came back from he would understand you are paying good attention Chelsea Ariel you are paying really good attention that's a real fan y'all this Chelsea Ari Ariel person that's a real fan I'm not gonna say anything about that for today but I'm just gonna say watch that woman's face she knows what she's talking about so yeah we can definitely look forward to seeing Elisa Marie pop up in either power book to ghost but I think she's gonna actually pop up in power book for force Tommy will see Elisa Marie again it might be in a few years y'all but when she comes I think that she's gonna come hard 
Uh, she was also asked about deleted scenes from Power, and apparently Stars is not going to let her or has not greenlit them releasing deleted scenes, but she has years and years of deleted Power scenes that she would love to uh, release, but is not allowed to do so. And I thought it was interesting, her response to this question, and I think that this is a really great jumping off point so she was asked who is Tariq's real love because as we know in season one of power book two ghosts Tariq is in a very interesting quad a love quad it's not even a love triangle because it's three girls and this is what Courtney had to say about Tariq's true love well in a way the answer is Tasha but I think if you think about the Goldilocks story, that's kind of where we're going with that, with these young women. It's giving codependent maternal realness, but I'm not even going to really, I guess, disagree. Uh, Tariq definitely showed in season one of Power Book 2 Ghosts that he is devoted to his mother and he loves his mother very deeply and he will go to the ends of the earth for his mother. So I can totally see her being his true love. Now, when it comes to her mentioning this whole Goldilocks story, I'm going to have to d jump into my research bag and try to figure out who is who as a sign to the Goldilocks story. So maybe I'll do a follow up video with that. If y'all want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. And there you have it. Those are the major updates from Courtney Kemp's live on Instagram recently. All things power, power universe, power book series, the major updates that you need to know and that I wanted to discuss. Let me know what you thought about all the updates that I brought up. If you have any questions or comments, drop them all in the comment section down below. If you're new here, I'm Erica Bain, and I post new entertainment videos every day, multiple times a day, and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe. I cover all the best television shows. I review and suggest amazing films for you to watch, as well as keep you up on entertainment news. So go on ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join the tribe, and keep it locked so that you do not miss an upload. You made it this far in the video, so you can go ahead and press that like button because I know you liked it. And if you are looking for a new series to watch and to get into, honey, I got some suggestions for you right here. Check them out. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.